Hi, my name is Ed Queen, an instructional designer. In this brief tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to export your Camtasia Studio 8 project as an MP4. So let's get to it. I've already recorded my video and edited it so that it is ready for production. The next thing I need to do is click Produce and Share right here. From the drop down menu that displays, I'm going to click the Produce and Share option. Now I just need to set up a few things in the production wizard and I'm all set. First, click this drop down selector. You have several options here, but if you're looking just to produce your videos in MP4, which allows you to share your video on tons of platforms, I recommend selecting MP4 only up to 720p. This gives you the highest quality video, but also the largest file size. Then click Next. On this page, you need to decide what you'll call the MP4, as well as where it's going to be stored on your computer. I'm going to leave the production name as is, and set the folder to the desktop. When I'm just producing an MP4, I usually uncheck this box, because I don't need to organize the produced files into subfolders, because it's only producing one file. If you're producing an MP4 with a player in order to embed in a website, it's a good idea to leave this checked, since Camtasia produces about half a dozen files or so for that kind of production. These post-production options are pretty self-explanatory, and I usually leave them unchecked. Show production results shows you the files that were produced and where they're located, and play video after production, you guessed it, plays the video once it's done rendering. Click Finish. Camtasia begins rendering the video and producing it as an MP4. I'm going to speed this up with a little bit of video editing magic. When it's done producing, you're brought back here to the Camtasia editor. I'll just minimize that. Now we can see the MP4 which Camtasia has produced and open it up. The MP4 opens in whatever is set as the default media player application on your machine. Now that you've produced your MP4, you can share it with pretty much anyone. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you have suggestions for future tutorials, or have any other questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Good luck and be sure to subscribe for more technology tips and tutorials.